Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jekutio. In this video, we are going to look at the properties of light. Have you ever noticed during a thunderstorm, do you see the lightning first or do you hear the thunder first? Do you know that the light can travel at an amazing speed? How fast can a light travel? The speed is actually 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter every second. That means it is 3 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 meter per second. There's 8 zero behind the tree. How fast can that be? Because light travels so much faster than the sound, we will see the lightning first before we hear the thunder. Okay? If you pay attention, lightning always reach us first before we hear the sound of the thunder. That is the first property of light, the speed of light. Okay? Number two. Light travels in straight lines, okay? Light will not turn left and right. It will travel always in straight lines. For example, if you have been to a concert or any form of, uh, any sort of performance when they have beautiful, colorful lights on the stage, you can see clearly that those light make straight lines. This is because light travels in straight lines. Because light travels in straight lines, that is why shadows are formed. Let's look at how shadows are formed. Here is a very cute relaxing frog on a chair by the beach. Look underneath the chair. There is a shadow in the shape of the chair. Okay, so how does that happen? Number one, sunlight travels in a straight line towards the chair and the frog and the chair is actually an opaque object opaque means it is object that will not allow the sunlight to pass through okay object that will not allow light to pass through so this opaque object will block the light and the light because uh, because the light cannot travel corner they cannot crowd travel uh, they cannot avoid the chair and reach the bottom they only travel in straight line okay the opaque object block them and hence you can see a shadow that is being formed behind the opaque object in this picture it is the frog and the chair so because light cannot shine through here this part is darker compared to other parts and hence shadows are formed because light travel in straight line and because of the formation of shadows, people from long time ago determined the time during the day by using sundial. This is sundial. This picture is sundial, okay? It is like a clock from the ancient time. They use the concept that shadows are formed when sunlight is blocked so they can tell the time by looking at the sundial. Another thing is Wayang Kulit or Shadow Puppets. This fun little show used the concept of shadows as well. Okay, property number three. We have looked at two properties. Yeah, number one, the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Number two, light travels in straight line. Number three, light can be this. Disperse. What is the meaning of disperse? Disperse means they are spread out. Okay, the light can be spread out. So light can be dispersed or spread out by water droplets in the sky and we can see a rainbow. So rainbow has seven colors. All that seven colors come from the white light that is being dispersed. We will look closer into this concept in our coming topics yeah well that's all from jekutio in this video i shall see you in the next video okay bye if you have learned something new from this video don't forget to like and subscribe